and take a look at the Navionics from your region. Now, a few weeks ago, we were up there doing a little scouting around and playing around a little bit. So we were in the Pex Lakes area. And one of the things that we decided to do was take a look and do some sonar chart sounding. So by looking at the first map, you can see that's what you typically get from your government map. But as we loaded in the sonar charts that Navionics provides for us, you'll see that there's a lot more contours to the bottom. Now looking at the next chart, the one thing that came to mind was this rocky shoal and how much this rocky shoal has changed. Now when we got back after looking at our charts, looking at the next uh, thing, you'll see here is the the track that we actually took going over the rocky bar and look how after we've loaded it through our chip and up to the freshest data through the community layer that Navionics provides, you can see it's a lot more, it's a lot different than what that uh, chart originally showed us. So that's what Navionics does. It gives us informed every single week. All right, let's go inshore, Mike.